today the slice built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. Slice has two ways you can use it, one with just a stop argument or one with a start, stop, and optional step argument. I think the reason there's two lines here is just to highlight that uh, the stop here becomes the second argument here. And what's important about this function is it'll return a slice object. So we're talking about slice notation more or less, uh, but here we get some additional features that happen when we're creating objects. So I'll show you what that looks like. I started by creating a tuple here, and you know with slice notation that we could do something like this um, to get the first two indexes in the tuple. Now how would we do that with the slice function? Well, we could instantiate a function like so. Here's our slice function. I'll show you the type is in fact um, of class slice. It's its own distinct object. And we could do A, B, and get that same outcome. So this and this are equivalent, and you can even test it. So we could do equals A to see that these are the same things. And the additional benefit of doing it uh, as an object is that you can play with this, you can move it around, you can store it and retrieve it later. So that object allows you to be a little bit more creative. So let's create a couple more slice objects to get more familiar with it. So here's one I was thinking about, slice zero, none, two. And so that will help us retrieve the odds. So we'll take our old tuple and we'll do A odds. And here we have A, C, E, G. Another one I was thinking of was backwards. And we would do that like so, I believe, with negative one, which we haven't looked at yet. So here's our slice object. And I think you know that with a normal slice notation, you could do something like that to reverse a list, reverse a tuple. And we're going to do that exact same thing with our slice object. And again, we can confirm that these two are equivalent. And just one more syntax I want to show you to make this crystal clear. Uh, so say we did A, uh, 1, 3, 2, and there we get B. Um, another way we could do this is A slice 1, 3, 2. So I hadn't put slice inside the, the notation quite yet. So I just wanted to show you that these are equivalent statements as well. And again, we can confirm this with one, three, two. So just another way the syntax might look in the code that you are reading. 